welcome back to chilling with daquan hopefully you guys are doing great today so for today's video i wanted to bring you guys a list video of games that i'm excited for that were announced after the showcase of last week um it was very exciting to see some games and some games were not very exciting i, I felt like the shows were okay they weren't absolutely amazing but they definitely were okay um i was hoping for more announcements but there were some that really caught my eye um like hellblade 2. this game absolutely could be amazing if they show us gameplay um that's what's very scary to me is that they haven't given us any gameplay um i believe the game got pushed to next year which i thought was coming out this year but next year and I, I don't know it's just like they're showing us cinematic stuff right with no gameplay that to me is very concerning because that's a huge tell telling me that the game isn't ready and i rather like a game to be ready than to be pushed out and then have a whole bunch of updates and then not be polished you know so i'm fine with it being delayed until next year or whatever it just sucks because I was really looking forward to it. The first one was really good. Very surprising, you know. Ninja Theory makes really good fighting games when it comes to that. You know, they know how to do good combat, in my opinion. So, I have high hopes for this game. And I'm hoping it, when it drops, it's good. And there's no, you know, mishaps with it. So, we'll, we'll see when it comes out. We'll see when it comes out. Um, the next game that really caught my eye was Spider-Man 2. Oh my God. I loved the first Spider-Man and Miles Morales. That, that was amazing. And the gameplay. Oh, I mean, I didn't think they were going to be able to top the gameplay for the first one and Miles, but they surprised me. They added a lot of elements. You got like a wing glider. You can fly through the air and stuff and and then you got Peter Parker in the black suit. My man is a freaking menace, bro. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of excited for this game. I, I can't wait to see what villains we have. I think we have Venom in there. Um, and then there was another guy that was also, I think they showed in the trailer. I just can't remember what his name. Um, so I, I'm excited. I am truly excited for this game. I think this game is going to be a game of the year. Definitely nominated for sure. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, you can switch between Miles and Pete. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm excited. It looked it really good. So I'm really excited for this game to come out. I can't wait. And I believe it's coming out this year, which is very exciting. Because if they would have showed us that and said, yeah, we're getting it next year. I would have been like, what the heck? But now we're getting it this year. That game is going to be really freaking good. I cannot wait. Um, the next game that looked it good, like really good, was Final Fantasy 16. I mean, I'm not a huge Final Fantasy person, but for some reason, the, the combat really drew me in. And then when I found out that the people behind the Devil May Cry 5 combat is doing this combat i was already drawn in i was drawn in i was like i have to play this game i don't really care too much about the story i may i may fall in love with the story as i play it but this game looks absolutely amazing it looks it looks amazing and i haven't even tried the demo yet i need to actually try the demo but it looks fantastic so i don't know too much about the final fantasy story i don't know characters like that or anything but that combat looks looks good looks really good and that's the only reason why i'm playing it if i'm being honest i'm only playing it for the combat to be real the story will probably pull me in but the combat is what really pull me in with that game that's why i'm excited for it because i know the game is going to be good i already know it's going to be good final fantasy games aren't bad you know and, it, and it's good they're taking a step away from turn-based into this genre of gameplay you know i think that's going to draw more people in to actually play the game and there's nothing wrong with turn-based games there are some really good turn-based games out there but i think this alone will pull in a lot more people to actually play the game 
it does suck that it's exclusive to PS5 right now and not PC. But I'm assuming I'm assuming after maybe like a year or so they'll drop it on PC. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good game. Um, another good game that I think will be good is uh, Alan Wake 2. It looked it really good from the gameplay that we shown, and then the guy told us that we'll be able to switch between Alan Wake and a chick. So I think that'll be good. That's like a that would be cool because you'll get two different stories um, here and there. If you want, that's an option. You can choose the players, her the entire game or him the entire game. So there's a there's a space in there to have um, different endings, if anything, or multiple endings. So I, I who knows? Who knows? Um, I guess we'll have to just wait and see when it comes out. Uh, I believe it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out this year as well, which is very good. Um, so I'm excited for that. We'll see. Um, another game that I was really looking forward to is um, Lives of P. Now, I played the demo, and I'm not a person who plays, like, soul-type games or anything like that. It isn't my bread and butter or cup of tea at all. But this game, it, I don't know. I don't know what drew me in to play it, but... I enjoyed the hell out of it. Like, this game can really get me into playing, like, Elden Ring or Bloodborne or um, the Soul-type games. Um, but, yeah, this game was really, really, really interesting because you're playing as Pinocchio. And I really want to know and see how the story goes along and what characters are going to get introduced throughout the story and how the story is told and how it's handled. You know, how is that lying handled? Because I know you have an option to tell the truth or lie. So I wonder how that plays an effect into the game. Does that mess with the endings in any way? Does that mess with how people interact with you? Or I, I'm, I'm just curious to how it goes. But I'm, I'm extremely excited for this game. I think it will be good. Um, it is going Game Pass Day 1, which is also a good, good, you know. So if you have Game Pass out there, hey. You're getting that game for free. So that that's that's really good. Um, the last game I have here is um yeah, the last game I have here is uh Warhammer Space Marines. I've never played the first one. And after seeing this one, this one looks absolutely fantastic. It looks really good. And you can play it up to two friends, so co-op, come on, you can't beat that. You know, and I feel like we need more co-op games as well as single player games. But I feel like a lot of games where you can play with friends makes it even more fun. Um, so cause you can enjoy that story together and the combat and everything. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to see, well, how this game plays out, how the story plays out. Is the first story actually going to really matter with this one? Because I didn't play the first one. So... I'm hoping I don't miss anything that happened in the first game that will be transferred over to the second. I guess we'll just have to wait and see when it comes out. Um, yeah, those are pretty much all the games that um, really caught my attention and um, caught my eye. But um, I would love to know what games you guys are looking forward to that were shown in the showcases or summer game fest or whatever because there were a lot of games announced you know and i'm not saying the games that were announced are bad or by any means they just didn't really catch my eye like that you know hey it could change when a game actually drops i could give it a try if it's on game pass or whatnot um but yeah i mean the list of these games look absolutely amazing i think they will do really good and i feel like all the other games that were announced would do really good as well because there were a lot of other games that were announced but they didn't really catch my eye like that and um but yeah i would like to know i don't want to keep rambling on here um i would like to know what are your guys's games you're looking forward to um, or games that were delayed that you're looking forward to or stuff that you just wanted to see at the game show that were not announced um let me know in the comment section let's have a talk but anyways i'll catch you guys in the next one stay amazing Peace. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of my gameplay videos or other videos I have up on the channel, make sure to check them out over here or over here, depending on where I put them. But anyway, 
Have a great, amazing day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.